Hello and welcome everyone to Last Level Press, I'm Mr. Black and I've been wondering something, contemplating a question millennia in the making for quite a long time now, long before Dino Week or even Dino Month were even thoughts to cross my mind, and that is what actually happened to the dinosaurs in gaming. No, not those dinosaurs, these dinosaurs. Once upon an age, dinosaurs were everywhere, and they were awesome! We all remember the great dino games of yesteryear. Those of us who grew up during the late 80s, the 90s, even the early 2000s, or were simply old enough to have lived through them and appreciated games during them, we all remember with enormous fondness those great games like Primal Rage, like Jurassic Park Rampage, Turok and Turok 2 Seeds of Evil, one of the best games for the Nintendo 64, Carnivores, its sequel, Nanosaur, yes, you remember it, it's okay, those of us who went to public school during the 90s, it's okay, let your inner kid out to breathe for a little while, Dino Crisis, even Dino Crisis 2, which despite its disappointing departure from the franchise's horror roots, was still a solidly entertaining action game. Hell, even that Lost World Arcade thing that we all loved and secretly also hated because none of us could beat it without wasting the entire night's quarters, and that is just a taste. There were so many great dinosaur games to get released in the late 90s and the early 2000s that you just might find out I've had feathers this whole time if I were to try and list them all. And yet, what have we had since? Barring the whole very tiny handful of games that I've featured this week during Dino Week and the small handful of early access titles available on Steam right now, uh, we've had in the last decade almost. What? Dino Crisis 3? No! Oh god, no! Get it off the screen! I don't need those flashbacks. Uh, what else? There's the Turok reboot? God, no! I can't look at that either! Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, yes, there we are, finally, a good, one good diamond in a serious rough of horrible cash-in games following the release of that thing, Jurassic Park 3. And finally, Telltale Games Jurassic Park, that was almost more of an interactive movie than an actual game. And that's it! Other than things like The Stomping Grounds and Beasts of Prey, again, unfinished titles that I cannot in good conscience really consider to be dino games because they're not games yet, they're alphas, they're betas. Hopefully one day they will be, but I cannot in good faith consider them to be completed titles as yet. So where does that leave us? It leaves us in a dearth, in an ice age of missing dinosaurs in gaming, and this is where, for one, my outline dies. This is where I open up to freeform and really kind of try to get to the bottom of what actually happened to dinosaurs in gaming. And I think it's multifaceted. For one, as has been rather colorfully apparent in a lot of the gaming journalism community and stories lately, the demographic for gamers is widening. A great deal and to me that is a great thing however it means that those of us who were the primary demographic of a great deal of games marketing and culture and the games themselves that were being created which is to say young males <laughs> we've grown up with this we were the primary demographic of almost all gaming and we're not anymore now, gaming is aimed at everyone, male, female, of any demographic, ethnic, religious even, and that to me is a great thing. I love to see the proliferation of games across culture, but that means that no longer are those things that were the safe marketing bets, like dinosaurs that could lure us all into buying a game, even games that might have otherwise been mediocre, aren't necessarily the go-to anymore. Now, it's forcing developers to get a little bit more creative, for one, so that they do not get accused of simply copying other developers and retreading ground, beating dead horses. And again, that I think is a good thing. It is forcing innovation and creativity, sometimes. Uh, that is not to say that there's not a great deal of repetition going on in gaming. That would be an absolutely asinine claim to make. But again, these are trends that 
are positive, but come with the cost of the nostalgic missing of dinosaurs. And I really, really do. Now, that is one facet. And the other, I think, I can, without a great deal of exaggeration, lay at least a significant, not whole, but significant, degree of the blame for the decline and the appeal, rather the decline of the appeal, of dinosaurs as a subject matter for gaming and also as a marketing ploy, even as a little bait for things to be used in games that are otherwise, like I said, mediocre, but which feature dinosaurs and will therefore be sold, out of the feet of the film Jurassic Park 3. Okay, all right, now I know, I know, hey, put the, put the pitchforks away. I love Jurassic Park 2. Once upon a time, I was a diehard Jurassic Park fanboy, and I have no qualms admitting such. However, the third film, it cannot be argued, is the weakest, we'll say, in the trilogy, soon to be quadrilogy, or whatever they're going to consider Jurassic World to be. Um, that I realized recently, however, that Chris Pratt is cast to be in that movie, so my hopes have risen just a weedy little bit for it, but that is neither here nor there. Now, what do I mean by blaming a film for a gaming phenomenon? Well, as we're all well aware, gaming, rather film-licensed games, tend to have an impact, much as we are all loath to admit it, especially the degree of it, within uh, the gaming market. And after the release of Jurassic Park 3, there was an absolute flood of really obvious cash-in titles upon the reinvigorated uh, interest in dinosaurs that that movie was released just in the nick of time to capitalize upon those of us that hadn't really quite grown out of our childish love of dinosaurs for and many of us still haven't uh, but a lot of folks kind of let that go as they let their inner child die you call it growing up all you want damn you child killers on the inside but anyway um what i mean by that there were a lot of especially a light gun titles that were released and were absolute trash they were shovelware but i think that because of the stigma that was quickly attached to those games that were released as cash-ins following the release of that movie um obviously the journalistic crowd was brutal on those games and for good reason a lot of them were absolutely horrendous with only sparing exceptions such as jurassic park operation genesis one of the very few titles especially utilizing the jurassic park license itself to be released after jurassic park 3 that was even passably good other than that we had this and this and that thing and none of them were really even worthwhile or even worth noting or remembering a lot of these you may be looking at going what the hell is that there's a good reason that you never either heard of it or remembered it or are now having really vivid flashbacks that you'd rather not delve into so that i think is something that there's no real solution for and i hope i really hope that jurassic world the uh, sort of spiritual successor or rather direct successor i suppose i should more accurately say uh in terms of basically being jurassic park 4 soon to come out will either re destroy this genre that is only now starting to tenuously claw its way back out of the fossilized ether of yesteryear or, perhaps, if it is good, and I, I really, I have not followed Jurassic World at all, really. Uh, so I've not got a great deal of concern or hope, one way or another, as yet. Um, but it simply stands to reason that because the Jurassic Park franchise has been the flagship of dinosaur culture, really, um, outside of actual scholarly archaeology uh, circles, Jurassic Park has kind of been the go-to for interest in sort of casual dinosaur appreciation. I, I find myself challenged to come up with terminology for this discussion, but I think we're all kind of on the same page here. We all, those of us that are really into dinosaurs, that did not kill our inner child, have watched things like Walking with Dinosaurs. We've seen some of the experts like Backer, and we've watched those documentaries that we loved ages ago, 
but a lot of people have not and their knowledge of dinosaurs and their interest of dinosaurs their reminder that oh yeah those things existed really hinge upon popular media like movies like games and since the interests of especially the younger demographic tend to follow not be dictated by at least and now that is kind of changing but it still holds true even today film followed by gaming i think it stands to reason that whether this next film is good or bad we'll see a, a direct influence upon dinosaurs in gaming again and i for one hope of course <laughs> that it is good but for now i don't know like i said i have not looked into that movie enough to uh, really call it as yet but that i think is my answer to the question of what really happened to the dinosaurs in gaming and it is the broadening of the demographic that is allowing for more than just the easy demographic of the young and impressionable children and men or rather children and men yeah those are two terms that go together the young and impressionable boys let's go with that uh, that were once the primary demographic that marketing for games if not necessarily games themselves i allow but the marketing for them was primarily aimed at during the heyday of dino games well we're no longer for one boys most of us and for two the primary demographic that has become something so much bigger and wider and more inclusive and accepting than it once was despite the things going on within the gaming journalism community right now and once a lot of the drama that has plagued this community for the last month or so blows over which it will i think we can all enjoy a much broader and more creative sort of gaming in the future and if that comes at the cost of a greater deal of dinosaur games i will allow my inner child to pout for a little while but i think even he will have to grow up and recognize that you know what there are a few more interesting and artistic things out there that one can really really enjoy as gaming evolves as vr develops as narrative continues to develop within gaming as it starts to transcend entertainment and really embrace art i've said for years that gaming can not necessarily is but can be art depending upon its execution and one last little note on that note i recognize somewhat tangential but relevant that i've been a proponent of for years actually wrote a rather lengthy um paper on during college it was one of my crowning achievements for the class that that was a part of was the argument that again gaming is not necessarily by default art but it can be and that is because in many great titles think of its constituent parts the art designers the actual visual artists the musicians the narrative writers all of whose work is considered on an independent basis to absolutely be art this is visual art this is music this is literature and yet there is still to this day contention that when all of these varied and amazing different aspects and varieties of art are then culminated into one thing that are braided together into a grander whole that is built upon and supports all of its constituent pieces how is that greater constituent creation not art i simply cannot fathom an argument against that only i admit when those constituent pieces are indeed art no one is arguing that pac-man is art as entertaining as it can be it's a game nothing more but a game can indeed be art and that i think is where the future of gaming is going alongside the triple a fast food that has kind of become a bit of a plague uh, in recent years well not really recent years over the last decade really it seems as though it's been shorter than it has but as i look back as i started to do a little research for this vlog it became a little depressingly apparent that no it's not as recent a trend as I wanted to believe. This has been going on for quite a while, and that will become the subject of another vlog entirely that I've mentioned a little bit before, off and on, on stream, in various videos, and also upon our forums. Um, 
As a subject that I've wanted to discuss, I've attempted to write articles about, I've scrapped whole outlines before, I've even sat down to do freeform vlogs for before, and never really could nail down. And that is the nagging feeling that a great deal of the love that a lot of really prominent developers were throwing into uh, their games just wasn't present anymore. And, and that's something that, again, I will not delve into at, at length right now, because I just can't really crystallize my thoughts on the matter to a degree that I'm willing to release and say, that's just what I have to say. I want to make sure that I say things really carefully and concisely when it comes to that, because I think there's a real critique to be made there, but only very carefully. It, it would be very easy to make missteps in a vlog like that. So, I will leave this one here and allow you all to discuss some of the things that I've brought up uh, in this vlog in the comments below, and let me know! here in the comments of this vlog if you've stuck around here for the end about a couple of things if there's anything that i've brought up today that you would like to discuss do please do so below and if you have feedback regarding my new vlog format which you can see right here with all the big the black squares and uh, kind of moving away from just having a backdrop of gaming just to have something to look at and focusing a little bit more upon my vocalization, me talking. Um, let me know whether you like it or you want to go back to the old style, um, or if there's any way you think I could improve the way this one is going. This is kind of an experimental thing I've done for the past couple of vlogs, and I rather like it, but I want to make sure that you all do as well. So, I am Mr. Black here at Last of the Press, and as always, I wish you all good gaming and Godspeed. Where did the raptor come from? And suddenly raptors, Deus Ex Velociraptor.